transport people to live in the universe with stars, planets, galaxies all around us. Our research is about clarifying the rate, space radiation effect on electronic devices in space environment. I'm going to show you our dreams in the future that people people can people can yeah take a journey through galaxies. Welcome to the world. Now you are in the universe. My name is Keisuke Motoki from ISIS JAXA and Waseda University. Now I'm in charge of guiding you guys to through the galaxies. Let's have fun. Now we are on the journey to the next galaxy. Don't worry, you will be safe in this ship. Wait a minute. Here is an enemy spaceship. It is called Death Star. Oh my god, it's very dangerous in the universe. Man, they found us. Be careful guys. I'm gonna attack them with my lightsaber. Don't worry, we have a big weapon, which is called space radiation. Space radiation includes three high energies of particles, proton, electron, and heavy ion. I want you guys to say these three words in my count three, proton, electron, heavy ion, okay? Don't be shy. Are you guys ready? One, proton, electron, and heavy iron! Oh, come on everybody, don't be shy. Let's do this again. I want everybody to say this louder in my three counts, okay? You guys ready? Three, two, one, proton, electron, heavy iron! Uh -huh. Check, check. What's challenging? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now, I'm gonna talk about... Today, I'm gonna talk about the uh, space radiation. And what is space radiation? Space radiation is... Um, are many particles with very high energies in space. Includes these three particles. Proton, electron, and heavy ion. So, how do they exist in space environment? As I mentioned, there are three, parti three particles in space radiation. I will show you the space around the Earth. You can see the, uh, the Earth over here. So, space radiation exists from maybe galactic cosmic rays, which is induced by supernova explosions. Maybe solar cosmic rays induced by solar flare. And for last, um, trapped particles around the atmosphere, which is called Van Belt. The reason why we have the trapped particles around the atmosphere is um, because of the magnetic field of the Earth. I think almost all of you know that um, the Earth is kind of like a magnet which has both sides of N and S, north and south. So this is why we have trapped particles over here. So, um, I have to talk about, um, talk, that, talk that the space radiation is very dangerous for us to live in the universe. So what's dangerous about space radiation? Um, maybe some of you think that it is very bad for health, human health, but this time I would like to talk about 
the space radiation is gonna destroy the photovoltaic. And this is also called as a, as a solar panel or solar cells. Works, works like this. And I'm gonna talk about this. How do you destroy a ship that was close? Oh, here's a contact from Mouse Bader. Look, he's wearing the mouse ear. Now, I'm the ship powered by photovoltaic. That space radiation beam was big world. I will get you for this someday. Did you hear that? He's seen the ship that powered by photovoltaics. I, as I mentioned, the space radiation is very dangerous hey, for photovoltaics. What? Okay, let's do space radiation again. Three, two, one, proton, electron, heavy iron, okay? No, please don't. Okay, are you guys ready? Three, two, one, proton, electron, heavy iron! No. Now, <laughs> now, we beat them because we parted down the photovoltaics of mouse failure. She never cannot see the uh, electronic parade in Disneyland anymore. Electronic parade. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's continue this. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna talk about previous research in JAXA. That um, previous research in JAXA found that. There are new type of photovoltaic, which is strong for electron exposure. Um, I, as I mentioned, electron is one of the space radiation, and because of the, this feature, I'm sorry, it is a new type of photovoltaic is called perovskite solar cells, and because of the feature of the, it is strong for electron exposure. It has good potential for spacecraft application. It, and it also has a features of lightweight, cheap, and could be bended like in this picture. Oops. Okay, let's go next. So, if we want to use this perovskite for um, um, spaceship, we can make like this kind of spaceship. I would like to ask everybody of you that which one in the picture is the real moon? Okay. L left or right? Raise your hand. If you think the left is a true moon, raise your hand. Okay. I see some of you is not raising hand thinking the right side is the real moon or they're not listening to me. <laughs> Okay, I can do this. Okay, um, so the left one is the moon, the right one is huge, um, huge spacecraft I'm dreaming of. We, we, can, we, we, we can use perovskite solar cells for this huge spacecraft. Our dream is to live in the universe come true because the huge spacecraft has a capacity of millions of people. So this is my dream. However, Space radiation effect on perovskite solar cells hasn't been extensively investigated yet. So, what I'm doing my, for my research is, okay, I have to talk about X-ray. I found that X-ray can induce radiation effect similar to kind of like a proton, electron, and heavy ion space radiation. Okay, and like this, um, I'm doing experiment of using X-rays instead of proton electron heavy ion. If using, um, by using this X-ray feature, I can simulate the space radiation effect for the perovskite solar cells by using X-ray. When the space radiation effects are clarified for the perovskite solar cells, we will be some steps closer to our dream to live in the universe. Thank you. And thank you very much. Thank you.